Hello! We're ready to start a SketchUp tutorial on how to make your name and number or last name on a piece of wood and send it to the laser engraver out of Google SketchUp. So we begin here, we open up a new file. We started in woodworking inches because we're working in inches here. And we have to understand a couple things. First of all, we're going to go to camera, parallel projection, camera, standard views, top, and we have our x and y coordinates here. Our next process is going to be saving this. You want to save it, remember to put it in your name over here, and we, it's important that we name this correctly because it's going to the laser so it has to be named correctly so that I know who's is who. So you're going to start out with your hour. So let's say I'm fifth hour. So I'm going to go five. Then I put my username in there. And then I'm going to put laser name. I need laser name in there so that I know what size piece of board I'm going to put into the laser. So thank you for making sure to name that correctly. Your hour, your login, laser name. And then hit save. And you'll see it pop up up here as well. Okay? Our first step we have to understand is we have about an inch of material by 12 inches of material that you can use. So we're going to start out with a guideline, bringing this up. We're going to go one inch high. We're going to bring this over, and we're going to go 12 inches. There is my area that I have for my text. Now comes the time of putting in 3D text. So this text here we don't want to use. We want to use 3D text here. In this 3D text box, I, this is where I type what I want the text to say. My font is right here. I can pick all my different types of font. I will say, got to kind of stay to a basic, more basic font. They usually turn out a little bit better. So I'm going to go Times New Roman. I like to bold them just to make them a little bit thicker. A line left is fine. Form filled is fine. Extruded should be unchecked. And then the height should go one inch. I think that comes in as ten inches. So one inch. So shift in the apostrophe, which gives you a quotation mark. And I'm going to see how this works out. And it's a little bit big. I got the one inch, but I'm over 12 inches. So I'm going to take the scale tool. And I'm just going to shrink down. If I go in the corner, I can shrink this down. And now I have my piece. Okay. Currently, this is one big chunk of text. We need to be able to edit it because we need to put it on a line underneath the bottom. So I'm going to right click on that, and I'm going to hit explode. Now these are all little individual lines with individual pieces. Uh, one other hint is if you have any I's in your letters, you might want to go all capitals because an I, the little dot up on top, or the J, the dot on top, will fall out. Then we click on the rectangle tool. We have to put the rectangle down on the bottom here to make sure that it is all sticking together. And it doesn't matter how much I touch, just as long as I touch a little bit of each of these letters. And then I'm going to come and erase out what I don't need. But for some reason... My rectangle tool did not go right. I'm going to click the rectangle tool again. I'm going to start out at the top of the M right there. And I'm going to bring it out and over this way. So what was happening there was actually in the Z direction or up and down, I was not lined up. Now I can erase out all these parts I don't need. 
So I want that all to stay connected. It's always good to be connected. Any line that's left over will cut, just so you know. I got a bunch on this to do, so I'm going to come back in a second with it all. And I'm back. I've cleaned up all those bottom lines. These centers here don't matter if they're there, but if you don't like them, you can click on them with the select tool that I'm on right there and just hit the delete. Oop, got a line there I wanted to not delete. And you can get those centers cleaned out too, but it doesn't matter. The laser only reads lines. So it's not a big deal. Okay. So now I have my name all here. I got my number if I want my number, whatever there. I'm going to hit zoom extents. This is going to make everything uh, fit everything on the screen. It's ready to go. And then I'm going to go file. Save. Because I got my name there. And then I'm going to go File, Export, 2D Graphic. When I'm exporting a 2D graphic, this is how I'm getting it actually over to the laser. I need to save this as an AutoCAD DXF file. And I'm going to put it again into my name folder. So I don't have one. You guys do right underneath the or right above the technology folder is your name. Now to get it to the laser, you're going to go over to the your hours drop box. So submit a file. We're going to hit choose file. You're going to pick your file. Make sure it says a DXF. It's going to look like this funky, it looks like a splat, but I think it's actually a cat. So we'll call it a cat splat. And hit open. Ask for your first name, last name, email, and hit upload. Once it says done, you're ready to go. And that's it for making your name black.